friends, how are you today? Fine? I hope so. Ready for another English class in this program Aprender e Estudar em Casa? I am Perpetua Verissimo, your English teacher for 11th grade. Don't forget, keep on preventing the COVID-19. Wear your mask, clean your hands and keep physical distancing. Look at the picture you have here and try to guess what are we going to talk about today. Yes, we're going to see a little about grammar. In today's class, we're going to uh, talk about the linkers, how to connect ideas logically. We're going to see different types of linkers and their uses. What are linkers? Remember, linkers are or connectors or words or group of words that help us to connect words, phrases or sentences. They are also called transitions or discourse markers. They help us establish our ideas explicitly. Linkers make it easy for us to illustrate, define, compare, and summarize our thoughts. But how can I choose the appropriate linker when I'm writing or speaking? Well, to choose the appropriate linker, you should take into account the meaning. The meaning is the first and the most important criterion in choosing a linker. You have to think about the meaning and the logical relation that you wish to express when speaking or writing. There are different types of linker and, as I told you, according to the meaning, we can choose the appropriate one. Let's see some of them. The first one we have here is the linker to add information, addition. We have some examples and in addition as well as also to furthermore, moreover, not only but also besides. We use them to add ideas in support of the main idea. There is an example in a sentence, part-time English classes are offered. In addition, students can take classes in other languages just to add more information on the main topic. But what if we want to contrast ideas? What kind of linkers do we use? We can use but, however, although, though, nevertheless, in spite of, despite of, whereas, even though, on the other hand. We use these linkers to uh, link two ideas that are different from each other. For example, one is a positive idea and one is a negative idea. We have an example there in a sentence, although the weather is bad, I want to go to the beach. Notice that although can be used at the beginning or in the middle of a sentence. It is used in front of a clause. Despite and in spite of are used before a noun or a gerund. So the same example we have there, but if we want to use despite instead of although, the sentence would be a little different. Despite the weather, despite the bad weather, I want to go to the beach. Now, if I want to talk about the cause or effect of something to show the result or to explain the reason, I can use these linkers because, so, consequently, therefore, as, since, due to. As I said, 
they introduce a reason or show result. Here in our table, we have two examples. Since it was raining, the game was canceled. The, uh, the, the game was canceled because it was raining, I'm explaining. He was expelled from the school due to his bad behavior. So these are used to give a reason or show result. But what if we want to talk about time or indicate the time and frequency of an event? Of course, we use linkers of time. In this, we have what? When, while, before, after, in the end, meantime, at once, immediately, as soon as. As I said, they indicate time and frequency of events. We have an example there. The bell rang and the students left immediately. There are more linkers, of course. Now we're going to see when we want to show sequence. To show sequence, we can use these linkers first, second, next, at this point, previously, finally. They show the importance and the sequence of ideas by, listen, by listing according to priority. For example, when making a cake, first mix the sugar and the butter together, then add the beaten eggs, and you continue on showing the sequence of the recipe. If we want to show the examples in a sentence, we can use these linkers. For example, such as, for instance, to illustrate in this case. They introduce illustration in support of the main idea. I believe this one you know well, and perhaps you use more for example, but now you know other ways to say so. Let's see the example we have here. I can play quite a few musical instruments. For instance, the flute, the guitar, and the piano. So, so far so good. There are some more, you know it. Now, if we want to show purpose, what is our intention when doing something? Of course, we use the linkers of purpose. We have some examples there. So that, to, in order to, so as to. They are used to express purpose, as I told you. And let's read the example we have there. The student is doing his best in order to pass his final exams with high results. Shows for uh, what is his intention when studying hard. The last one, to make a summary, to summarize the ideas in our piece of writing or when we talk, we can use the linkers of summary. Examples in brief, to sum up, to conclude in summary. They draw conclusion by summarizing the ideas. For example, I like playing football. I really enjoy going swimming and cycling. To sum up, I am fond of sports. We have seen a couple examples of linkers and how to use them. It is time to do some practice. Exercise one. Choose one of the linkers in the box to complete the sentences. In the box we have, despite, as soon as, whereas, Moreover, because, so as to, since. As you have probably noticed, they are different types of linkers we have there. So pay attention to the meaning of each sentence and try to complete them. The sentences are, number one, Mr. Monteiro is talkative. His wife 
is shy and reserved. Number two, football fans often follow their teams to foreign countries, support them. Number three, Andrew speaks two foreign languages, never been to school. Number four, the weather was bad, we didn't go on a picnic. Number five, Paulo didn't have time to do his homework. He spent all afternoon chatting online. Six, I will send you an email. I arrive home. Number seven, I enjoy reading the news magazine. It always has a lot of good articles. Take some time to do it. Use your dictionary if you think it's necessary. Well then, let's correct it. Number one, Mr. Monteiro is talkative, where, whereas his wife is shy and reserved. Talkative and shy, it shows contrast, two different sides, so we use a linker of contrast. Number two, football fans often follow their teams to foreign countries so as to support them. What are the intention when going to a foreign country to, is to support their team? So we use a linker of purpose. Number three, Andrew speaks two foreign languages despite never being to school. Again, we have the idea of contrast. Number four, since the weather was bad, we didn't go on a picnic. Here we are saying the cause, the reason why we didn't go to the picnic. So we use a linker of cause and effect. Next one, Paulo didn't have time to do his homework because he spent all afternoon chatting online. Again, it's showing us the cause, the reason why. So a linker of cause and effect. Number six, I will send you an email as soon as I arrive home. Linker of time, right? And the last one, number seven, I enjoy reading the news magazine. Moreover, it always has a lot of good articles. I'm giving more uh, reasons why I read the 
the news a magazine, so I use a connector of addition. Moreover, right then, I hope you have understood this and start using different types of linkers according to what you want to say. Now, as usual, it's time for our homework. And today for homework, we have join the two sentences with the linkers between brackets. Number one, many people learn computer skills. They want to get better jobs. The linker you're going to use is in order to. Number two, Anna went to school today. The doctor advised her to stay in bed, although. Number three, our local association is very active. Our neighborhood is clean and safe. The linker you have to use is because. Number four, Erica Pratt's well for her driving test. She passed it easily. The linker you have to use is that's why. Five, she was out with a friend. Her husband was watching TV. While the students planted many trees, they cleaned all the classrooms too not only but also remember to take into account the meaning of the sentence although the linkers are already there but you have to read the sentence in order to place them in the right uh, place in the sentence also to make the necessary changes once you are connecting to sentence sometimes you have to eliminate the personal pronouns yeah Take your time to do it at home, and when you finish, don't forget to show it to your English teacher, all right? What did we learn today? In today's lesson, we talked about different types of linkers and their uses. Well then, this is the end of another English class for 11th grade in the program Aprender e Estudar em Casa. I hope you could learn a lot in this lesson and use it, what you learned today in your everyday life, when you write and when you speak. I had a great time with you. I hope to see you next class. Have a great day.